Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Cancer Collective. This reading is timeless, so whenever you come to this, it is the perfect time for you, he for you to hear the messages revealed. There are deliberate objects in the frame. I do have crystals to represent earth, flowers to represent air, water in the vase for water, and a candle burning to represent fire to draw down the goddess. The artwork in the frame is original. If interested, see information in the description box. I've pre-shuffled and laid out several triads of energy. We're going to start with uh, a few cards to represent the person currently on your mind. If you've come to tarot, it's due to some sort of discord in your romantic life. And this reading is meant to be listened to as opposed to watch. If I want to point out a card, I will let you know. Um, so I really appreciate you being here as well. And if this reading does resonate, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it so much. And so you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, or an Aquarius Cancer. Um, so you have the Hermit, the Strength card, and the Star card. And uh, it could also be any sign, but these are the ones that came out. Uh, they could also have that placement. It could be like their rising, their moon, or their Venus. And uh, for instance, I have Virgo as my rising sign, and I really identify with Virgo so much. Um, and anyway, so these cards also will set the tone for our reading today. Um, so let's start with, with the Hermit. Um, there could be a little bit of quiet time for you right now. Uh, maybe you're taking a time out from like the social scene. Uh, maybe you are just taking a breather um, just to look within and to kind of get get some peace within yourself. Um, the Virgo card, um, the Hermit card, I should say, you know, the figure is looking at a star within a, a lantern. I'm going to hold the card up closer so you can see. And it's just interesting because we also did get the star card and the star is what's within that lantern. So you're going to be going from hermit mode to star mode. That's how I see it. Um, you're going to be in the public eye, perhaps. You're going to um, maybe perform in some way. Um, you're going to be admired by those around you. Even if it doesn't mean like literal fame, it could mean that you're just kind of a star among your community and in your social circle. And I happen to notice that there are like white birds in each of these cards. One of them is an owl and the other is a dove. So there, there could be an element of wisdom that you gain in hermit mode and then peace that you gain when you are in your star element. I'm gonna put these cards down now. And the strength card is um, the card of Leo. And so there could be an element of courage that you are developing right now. In regards to your relationship, I haven't really talked about your actual relationship yet um, uh, with the person on your mind. But when I see this card, sometimes I feel like this represents a relationship that could stand the test of time. It's got strength and it's got legs. It can also mean that maybe you tame the wild beast within your partner or vice versa. And it can also mean that the relationship is, you know, there's a high level of chemistry because this card also can represent lust. So those are the cards that are setting the tone for us. And I wasn't getting that much uh, relationship energy right there. I was getting more like 
inner work that you're doing, Cancer. However, um, maybe the next relationship coming in um, will have strength and longevity. So the person currently on your mind, I got their energy towards you in the next set of three. And so they have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Fool card. So it's almost like a progression. Like they're going from the player to the one who no longer wants to betray with the Ten of Swords reversed to the full, which is the zero card of the tarot, wanting to embark upon a new beginning. So perhaps they were acting the player, but they want to stop. They want to stop betraying you and they want to embark upon a new adventure with the full card and leap off the cliff a little bit recklessly with optimism and, um, you know, no aversion to the risk involved. Their next actions towards you are the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Um, this may, like this, this transition that they're going from, you know, from the player to the fool, uh, perhaps they need to walk away for a time in order to release any um, any lingering past hurt very nice awesome with the five of cups in reverse so like they may have been hurt in the past and they really need to walk away um, just to kind of maybe they they are in that hermit mode they need to walk away in order to process and release the grief from the past um, because they feel um, a bit unstable with the Queen of Pentacles reverse in regards to this connection. Your energy toward them is the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords reverse, and the Emperor reverse. So you feel like this person keeps himself um, in a self-imposed prison with the Eight of Swords, uh, that they, you know, don't want to open up, perhaps, emotionally uh, to you. You also feel like they avoid conflict with the Five of Swords in reverse. Uh, perhaps they, they keep themselves walled off in order to avoid conflict, in order to avoid vulnerability. And you feel like they are excessively controlling the Emperor reverse to the point of being a tyrant um, and there could be some power struggles going on between you. All right, we're gonna get the outcome of this energetic cycle of energy with um, my Necronomicon deck. So I'm just gonna pull three more cards to see the outcome and we'll say it's by the next full moon, which is about two weeks out. And some other signs that are on the table are late Cancer, early Leo, Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Scorpio, late Sag, early Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries. So a couple repeating signs there. So what is the outcome between Cancer and the person on their mind by the next full moon. I love reading energy. It's, you know, it's so ever-changing. And you've got a tarot reading today, and it could be totally different tomorrow. <laughs> so interesting. But somehow tarot just resonates so much when you, when you find the right reading. So. 
Okay, all reversals. Um, so we got the Justice card in this deck. It's called Guilt Slash Truth, and it's a mirror, um, and it's in reverse. So there could be some injustice, um, and there could also be um, some sort of delay with the Ace of Wands in reverse, uh, a delay to this passionate new beginning. Um, if you are coming back together, it could be delayed. Um, there could also be a desire to release um, the toxicity that may be present in this relationship with the devil card in reverse. Uh, there could be a desire to to cut the, the bond um, in order to approach this relationship in a more healthy way. And um, I did pull a card to represent this situationship that you're in, Cancer, uh, from my literary witch's oracle deck. And the card I pulled is Virginia Woolf. And I am showing the card. And this card, um, well, Virginia Woolf is a very famous writer um, whose, whose stories were a bit dark. I mean, she did end up committing suicide, um, but she wrote some wonderful masterpieces, like I believe she wrote The Bell Jar. Um, and so, you know, you or your person could be uh, literary in some way. Um, you or your person could be very intelligent, even brilliant, like Virginia Woolf. The card itself um, is talking about vision, so there could be a vision for your future. Um, there's a couple other meanings, let me just check. Uh, innovation um, and limitations. So there could be some sort of limitations involved in regards to your connection. I'm gonna do some bibliomancy just to clarify a bit more, and I will open randomly to my Jonathan Livingston Siegel book. Please quiet your mind and think of a question regarding the person on your mind. Sorry about the background noise. I have a five year old. Daddy did it. I'm sorry. Please quiet your mind, Cancer. Sorry about that. The squawks and grockles of everyday life in the flock were cut off as though the formation were a giant knife and ate thousand gull eyes watched without a single blink. One by one, each of the eight birds pulled sharply upward into a full loop and flew all the way around to the dead slow stand-up landing on the sand. Then, as though this sort of thing happened every day, Jonathan Siegel began his critique of the flight. To begin with, he said with a wry smile, you are all a bit late on the join up. So hopefully that um, resonates in some way. I will conclude this reading with a yes or no question to my crystal ball crystal. So please think of a question and I will ask crystal. Very doubtful. Well, anyway, Cancer, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I love Cancers so much. They're all, the, they're just the best people. All my friends are Cancers. So anyway, thank you for being here. And until the next reading, may the source be with you.